Boo, sorry if I scared you. I'll give you a moment to gather yourself. Now I know that wasn't that scary, but you know what is scary? Conditions at sea. There's been a lot of conversation about the global supply chain recently, especially cargo ships waiting for days just to get into the port to unload all those products that will make it to the retail shelves and to our doorstep. I'm sure you've seen the stacks of containers on those cargo ships. Some of them can hold up to a thousand containers. And in each of those containers are the products that we've ordered or will purchase at some point. And all of those products have to get to us in one piece, right? It's critical that your products don't get wrecked because of improper, incorrect, or insufficient packaging. Well, if you've lived long enough, you know that life isn't always smooth sailing and neither is travel by sea. Once your packaged products leave your facility, they're in the hands of many others and at the mercy of mother nature. And when your items are shipped aboard one of those vessels, they not only contend with wet conditions because the ocean is water, Products in their packaging can experience some extreme forces, some wild motions at sea. Ocean waves cause six types of extreme motions at sea, and if you don't take these motions into consideration, they're gonna wreak havoc on your packaged products. Motion number one, heaving. Heaving is an upward and downward force applied along the ship's vertical axis. There's acceleration and deceleration in this movement. Motion number two, swaying. Swaying is the side-to-side -side motion where, again, there's significant acceleration and deceleration. Motion number three, surging. Surging is when the ship is accelerated and decelerated in a forward or backward motion. Motion number four, rolling. Rolling is when the ship rolls over its own center of gravity. Ships have been recorded with rolling movements up to 40 degrees. <laughs> Motion number five, pitching. Pitching is the ship motion where the bow is lifted and the stern lowered and vice versa, like a horrible teeter-totter on the ocean. And motion number six, yawing. Yawing is when wave action causes the ship to rotate around its vertical axis. After hearing about all those incredible motions and the forces that your products and their packaging endure on the sea, think about your products, think about your packaging and how they might hold up under those conditions. Consider this. Imagine you are speeding along in the backseat of your highly irresponsible friend's car. There are no seat belts, but there is a speed bump. Traveling at 62.4 miles per hour, the car hits the speed bump. You are not secure. There is no dunnage. What's going to happen to you? Well, think of your packaging that way. Those are the kind of forces that your products and your packaging are going to have to endure while crossing the open sea. So take some time to consider how your products and your packaging will hold up under these conditions. If you're racking up cases of product damage, chances are your product's packaging needs some tweaking. And something else to consider. Sometimes those containers just fly overboard because of all these forces, and sometimes they're just lost at sea. So maybe you should also think about how your products and their packaging can be used if they're found by someone stranded on a deserted island. See you next time.